Whether you're using your PC for entertainment or work, your data storage drive can impact how your computer performs. When solid state drives first emerged onto the mainstream six or seven years ago, the difference was night and day between SSDs and the spinning drives that they replaced. You felt the effects every time you started your computer, or opened an application, or transferred a large file. Perhaps the best thing about SSDs is that they keep getting faster and less expensive as the technology progresses. And that's good news for you. Whether you're planning your next build, or if you're supporting a data habit and need to upscale your drive capacity. The big story in mainstream SSDs is the interface. The old SATA 3 interface by which spinning drives and previous generation SSDs connected bottleneck the capabilities of the solid state storage. A couple years ago, we saw the emergence of non-volatile memory express, or NVMe, solid state drives in mainstream computing. These drives came in a recognizable gumstick shape, the M.2 form factor, and connected directly to your motherboard instead of via SATA cable. Whereas earlier M.2 drives still use the slower SATA standard, today's NVMe drives utilize the PCIe by 4 slot on the motherboard. A faster interface that essentially acts like a widened freeway between your CPU and your data storage device. Unrestricted by the SATA interface, the latest SSDs deliver sustained read-write speeds of 2,000 megabits per second, which is more than three times faster than the fastest SATA 3 SSDs. One of the most popular of the first-generation NVMe solid-state drives for mainstream computing was the Intel 660p SSD. When it launched in summer 2018, the 660p marked the arrival of quad-level cell, or QLC, flash architecture on the consumer market. Compared to previous architectures, QLC flash is roughly 25% denser, which translates into drives being able to cram more data into the same amount of physical material. And by the time the 2 terabyte iteration of the 660p came on the market in fall 2019, you could pick up one for 8 or 9 cents per gig of storage. And now, the next generation of QLC flash technology has arrived. The Intel 670p SSD makes several important improvements over the previous generation. It retains the same low cost per gigabyte value proposition, coming in 2 terabyte, 1 terabyte, and 512 gigabyte capacity drives. Performance has doubled over the previous generation for both random and sequential reads. Intel has designed a new controller to execute the firmware on board the drive, and has extended the use of a dynamic single layer cell, SLC cache, up to 280 gigabytes in a 2 terabyte SSD. The 670p SSD is optimized for a 70-30 read-write mix, which is ideal for real-world PC usage. It's designed to deliver responsiveness when running an operating system, work applications, or for video streaming and gaming. For those workloads, the 670p is shown to outperform other QLC and triple layer cell drives on the market. Historically, endurance has been a mark against QLC type drives. Having more bits packed into memory cells means more wear and tear for write heavy workloads. The Intel 670p makes massive improvements in durability over the 660p, an 85% gain in terabytes written. This translates into being able to write over 200 gigs a day, every day, for five years. And best of all, adding an M.2 NVMe drive is an easy upgrade. In our studio gaming rig, we were running a 500 gigabyte SATA 3 SSD that we filled up relatively quickly with games, video captures, and a few work applications. We were constantly deleting games to make room for new downloads, so upping our drive capacity was in order. First, insert the Intel 670p SSD at a 45 degree angle, click it, lay it flush, and screw it down. Add back the video card and the slot cover, and we're ready to clone the drive. You have a ton of options for drive cloning applications. For our purposes here, we tried the free version of Macrium Reflect. We copied the entire drive from the 500 gigabyte SATA 3 source disk to the Intel 670p SSD. It took about 37 minutes to complete. Designate the Intel 670p SSD as the boot device in the UEFI, and you're ready to start partitioning your new storage in disk management. 
Note that you may need to switch the SATA port for the old drive, so that your PC recognizes the new drive as disk zero. On supported motherboards, you can also do this by disabling the SATA controller in the UEFI. The benefits of NVMe drives are most apparent for anyone who works with big files, like video editing in 4K or sequential operations like a virus scan, for example. For day-to-day -day usage, you might see a couple seconds off your boot time and a general feeling of snappiness when opening games or large applications. With the pricing trends and projections for NVMe SSDs being what they are, drives like the Intel 670p SSD appear to be the future of mainstream data storage. Thanks for watching. Intel 670p solid state drives are available now on Newegg. Check the links below for pricing and availability.